Okay, part two. Sorry, my phone rang and I'm using my iPhone today. So that's kind of crappy. But you have a family room slash, I mean, you could do anything with this room that's right next to the kitchen. I wouldn't say I'd use it as a big dining space because it's large. I mean, it's really a family room slash den. Put a TV on the maybe on that red wall. Looks like it was patched. There's a pool in the backyard. Now, here is one of the reasons I think this house is so cheap. It backs to the frontage road of the 101, but you still have a nice grassy area and you still have a pool, which right now is empty. But in all reality, you have this big wall. It's not a lot of noise. Um, it's just a matter of the property value will never be quite as high as everything in the neighborhood, but right now it's so much significantly lower than the other properties in the area. I mean, we're probably 70 grand under everything else in the neighborhood, but it's probably worth it. And again, I told you the carpet needed work. So carpet, master bedroom, not huge, but again, probably livable. Sewer smells bad in here, but that's okay. There I am. Pretty bathroom though, nice tile. Nice, they put a step-in shower in, it's really nice. Big closet. Need some cleanup, clearly. And here we go. There's two more bedrooms, not bad. Bedroom, we'll call that two. Bedroom three has a black wall, which I mean, everyone wants, right? Closet, there's the black wall. But And then they painted the cabinet, or they put a new vanity in here that's black. Cute old tile, I kind of like this. Um, it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I think it's pretty darn cute. And then a bathtub white. I mean, it's it's a perfect little house that if you paid $134, your payment is going to be in the $500 range on a 30-year mortgage. I mean, I'm not sure that you could beat that. Can't get an apartment for that. And it's a whole house. And it's pretty nice. All right, we'll see what my buyer thinks.